Whoa, look at you. Think I'm overdressed? Oh, no, but don't ask me. You know, I, I think you're overdressed if you're uh, wearing perfume. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm here for the TV show. No, you look great. I don't understand why you have to do the TV show in the first place, but you look great. Network called and asked me to. Yeah, but you could have said no. And I wish you had. I don't think it can be helping you to tell this horrible story over and over again. It just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, why not take a break from this and let your mind drift onto something more positive? Life goes on. You don't deny what happens to you, even though it might scare you. You get above it. You get beyond it. And this is a start for me in that direction. And I have to go, otherwise I'm going to be late. Darling, I'm not asking you to deny this, you understand? It's just I don't think it's going to be as easy as you imagine to answer questions about this on television. I didn't say it was going to be easy. I said it was going to be important. And, and you know, there's another reason I'm doing this. It's because TV glosses over issues. They don't show things because they think that viewers are going to be uncomfortable. Well, that this is something I think that they should see. Because it's important. Otherwise, it's just going to be trivialized. Well, I doubt they would trivialize something like this. Uh -huh. You want to know who's doing this show with me? Who? An actress who played a rape victim and her co-star who's the rapist. I mean, what kind of reality is that? <sighs> well, that's weird. Yeah, right. well, somebody's got to cut through it. Somebody has to take responsibility so men like Critter aren't out on the street. Somebody has to realize that this issue has an impact that should reach people's consciousness. You have to please understand that I have to do this. Yeah, there's just another angle that's worrying me right now. What? Well, whether or not Critter actually did this. You know, I went over the reports this morning, and aside from the fact that he threatened you, and he's been in trouble with the law in the past, there's really nothing to lay this at his feet. And of course, if he didn't do it, Whoever did is still at large. What do we do if that's the case? I'll turn this town over piece by piece if I have to. I promise you I'll find the guy. I just think it would be a good idea for you to stay out of the limelight for the time being. You know, give me a chance. Just, just give it a little bit of time. What does that involve, staying out of the limelight? Well, ducking interviews, especially, uh... On camera interviews like this one, maybe not taking so many phone calls, just generally keeping a lower profile for a while. Hide? You want me to hide? Well, I think it would be preferable to putting yourself in jeopardy again, don't no. you? No, I don't think so. No, I don't. Why not? <laughs> this is an even better reason for me to do this show. Let him see me. Let him see that I'm not going to stand back and just, just take it. He can't go out there and do this a second time. Okay, hit the wrong nerve. What, don't you think I'm right? I don't know. I do. I am not about ready to sit by if the man who raped me is out there running around and not do anything about it. I'm going to go and do interviews. I'm going to go into television stations. I'm going to stand on the street corner if I have to. The idea just... It scares me a little bit. I'm sorry. I don't know why. Well, I'm not afraid. Besides, I have you with me. Bet on that. <laughs> 